Hey y'all, this is Into the Breach. Um, a couple people who I'm friends with um, have been telling me to play this game because I liked FTL and I enjoy turn-based. And I was like, oh sure, and then I put it off for about a year. Um, and now we're here. Um, so I started playing it last night. I bought it on sale a week or two ago. Um, it was like 50% off, which was a great sale. It doesn't go on sale fairly often though. Um, yeah, so this game is... Uh, how do I ex how do I describe it? Um, so, the Vec, which are like giant bugs, have invaded Earth? Question um, mark. And you're here to stop it. But also, yeah, there's more as we go. But that's that's the general gist. I'm playing on easy for the first time. I've been playing on normal because, in typical, uh, who makes this game? Uh, I should really know. In typical, like, FTL slash, um, just general difficulty, um, style, it's, uh, the game's hard. Who makes this? Let me see. View news, view review, let's view news, maybe that'll show me who these peeps are. Because I really should give credit to these devs, because this game's fucking awesome. Um... What the fuck? Who makes the name? It says from the makers of Oh, Rock Paper Shotgun. That no. Shit. That's the What am I what's wrong with me? Go to the store. Into Astroneers on sale. That's not good for me. I wish I didn't know that. Oh, into the breach is still uh seven fifty right now. Um subset games, that's what they're called. Okay. Um yeah. This game is dope, and you should play it if you're interested in these kind of things. I almost put, pick my controller up. Okay. So, the this is the starting mechs. You get one who punches, you get one who fires artillery, and one who just straight up shoots. Try and pick it up as you go along, but these are your power uh, grids, which is also people. So, like, they're civilians, and you want to block them. So this one's being attacked. It'll always show you where they're about to attack, and it's your job to figure out how to stop that. So they're about to attack this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch the shit out of them and move them away. Now they're not going to attack it. Now they're going to attack this mountain, which I don't care about. This guy wants to attack my artillery, so I'm going to move. And then I'm going to shoot him away. So the artillery is, it'll do one damage on the tile it lands on. It'll push every other tile, like here, 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 and here, away. And there's a pushing mechanic where you can push enemies or your guys. Ooh, this was stupid. <laughs> and it's too late for me to undo that. Whoops. All right, I'm gonna take the shot then. So now I'll block and get in the way. My whole point was I wanted to shoot them this way. Um, you can push them in the water, which is usually an insta-kill, but I got greedy. Uh, this is an artillery. This is not on every stage. This is just part of this mission. Uh, I'm going to kill this thing. Neato. So because the artillery is not part of us, um, it uh, the XP is, sca is shared between the pilots. This pilot is my time traveler. He's the one who, if you fail a run, which will happen, you can send him back and keep his abilities and XP, XP and stuff and put him in whatever mech you want. You can also uh, block incoming peeps, so uh, there are three on here right now. That one's sort of damaged, that one's not damaged. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull a sneaky. So, I'm gonna put this dude right in front. Now he's not attacking the city. You can, So they heal, your mechs heal between rounds. So that's why I'm being a little lazy fair. So there's supposed to be an enemy coming from there, because there's another enemy blocking. Whatever is, you can block enemies from spawning, but you'll take one damage, so it's good to try and get enemies to block themselves. Alright, this one is planning to attack him already, which seems weird. Um, I mean, I don't want to interrupt. It seems like they've got this handled. I might be able to target this, so I might be able to target it. Yeah, so I can hit just them. This will also show the attack order. So he's going to kill that one if I leave him where he is, or at least similar to where he is. So what I might do is... Uh, let me see. I could... Yeah, here's, here's my plan. So 
That's a terrible plan. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna fire... Nope. Did that wrong. You can undo move, but that's about it. I'm gonna go here. Which is now gonna block for that, which is probably better. That's not good, because it'll push them into there. So if you push them into enemies, or into anything, they'll take an extra damage. What I'm trying to do is push this thing forward, which I can do. What am, what's wrong with me? Why can I not figure this out? Alright. I had it right the first time, I think. So I'm going to push this forward. And then I'm going to walk behind them. I'm going to push it so they're going to kill them into each other. Bam. Alright, so the only one left is that one. Not in the turn. So power grid is your, like, health. It's like your defenses. And that lasts between the entire campaign. So every hit here is like an HP point, and it takes away, like, permanently. So you have to be very careful. All right, I'm going to try and block all three of these. Um, I'm going to have him move here. Punch. Dead. So fire also makes you take extra damage. I think they'll live. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. I can't block this with them because this mech will die. Um, and this only moves one at a time because it's just like here just for this mission. Um, but I can block one of them at least. And then uh, I'm not going to be able to attack because there's nothing to attack. So it'll sometimes prompt you to be like, do you want to end the turn? And I'll be like, yes. Alright, so that one flies, which is more annoying. Um, I think I can just kill him. Outright. Okay, so here's the problem now. If I stay in this tile, I'm pretty sure I'll die. So I need to get away. I want to get away. Alright. Uh, fuck. I really wish I could just shoot them. Uh, or I could just attack them here. But there's no good areas to push them where they're not going to go into the thing. Okay. I think I can do this, though. So I'll move you away. I'll move you here. So if you artillery strike here, even though the push will affect the buildings, it doesn't push buildings. Think of it as like an impact kind of thing, and buildings are sturdy enough where it's not going to hurt them. And then bam. End of mission. Success. So I just have to make it through. So we, they did die. Wow. There was nothing I could do there. Alright. So... Now I'm going to get into the thing about pil pilots. So we saved every civilian. They only count as 500, because your score is halved. Um, that sucks. So here's the thing what happens with pilots. Pilots level up and have their own abilities. This is the ones that, like, a main pilot is like a time traveler. His, his main ability is mech gains armored, reducing coming weapon damage by one. He increases your reactor bonus, which is this, which is something I should have triggered before that last match. And then every mech he's in has extra two power. So what this does is now like now buildings won't take damage from the artillery fire, so I can push people away without actually damaging the buildings. This one, uh, I don't know what they do until they get uh, some more skills, but I'm going to move them to this pilot, or to this mech, because this mech is worth more. Like, it'll do more damage. It'll be getting more kills and stuff. Um, there's nothing you can really do in the beginning other than just keep taking missions. Um, Protect the coal plant and def defend the train. And then there's some other stuff here. Tidal warnings are always fun. So you want to aim for the stars if you can. While it's helpful to get extra power, that's why I'm going to do this one. If you can find one that has, that's worth three instead of two, it's worth it. It just means the mission's going to be harder. Ooh, that's a big one. So this train is going to keep going, and it can damage enemies if it runs into it, but then it'll also damage itself. So we don't want that to happen. Um... I don't want to get too far into the train's path. Because um, it'll be a pain in the ass to cross over here. So I have to protect the coal plant, which is here, and I have to protect the train. My current plan for this dude is just to push him right in the fucking ocean. Um, so that seems like a good solid plan. Okay, they're both going to attack him. At the moment... So... Ugh, this sucks. I can't move him because he's like webbed down the only thing I can do is um, so if I if this thing gets attacked it'll go away like or it'll break that web the problem is I can't do that right now because <laughs> of the way they're positioned this is a really rough first positioning 
So first thing, I'm going to move this one away. I could just let him eat these hits too, but then he's going to run into the train if I don't move him. Ah, this sucks. Okay. I'm going to do something that I do not recommend you do this early in the game, <laughs> for sure. Um, this is going to be really stupid of me, but I'm going to try it. Because I'm currently in the path of the train. It's going to kill me, and it's going to kill the train, but here we go. I hope this works. Push that thing out of the way. And then I'm going to get my other mech over here. Shoot myself out of the way of the train. This is how pros play. So he's still going to get hit by the wasp, but that's fine. Because, again, he you heal. That attacked, nothing. That attacked, nothing. They're still spawning more enemies. Oh, this is going to suck. This thing sucks because it gives every enemy like a shield or a boost. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move, don't move. Fuck. Okay. Alright, so these guys are both attacking here. The solution for this one's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna have to attack here. Move both these guys out of the way. These guys are only attacking me, but I can't take these hits. I, can t I can't take this one from this one for sure. Um, this is rough. Uh, okay. Um, Alright. I'm gonna do the only thing I really can, which is punch him away. Still webbed by that one, which I can't attack. Um, gonna have to move here. To attack here and push him away and then I guess I can just work on killing one of these um, I only do one damage with this thing fuck I thought I put this on easy <laughs> so there's only one more turn after this too so I don't have to defend for too too much longer um, and I can't kill that one either fuck and this one's only controlled by AI so I'm not gonna gain any skills all right so the only one's gonna be attacked is him I think um, the problem, alphas don't unlock until you get to at least the second island once, but once when you do, it starts introducing new enemies even to your new playthroughs, which makes this kind of rough. Uh. Okay. Just gotta defend for one more turn. Okay. It's literally now impossible for me to not take any damage here. Okay. So, yeah, I can get rid of this one. And then I can. I'm trying to think of how to do this. I can push him away, but then he'll attack the train. So I have to. Fuck me. This is bad. Um, okay. There is a solution here. I can use the artillery to move these two, but then he'll still attack the train. And then he's still going to attack there, and they're still going to attack there. I might have to take the power loss here. Right, first things first. I know I have to destroy this, or I have to move this thing away, or this mech is dead. Or this pilot's dead. Um, I have to... I can kill this thing. But it's going to be tough. Alright. Big plays. This is all about min-maxing min losses. So he's still being... The train's still being attacked. Until now. So now that's dead. So he's going to attack him. But it's not going to kill it, so it doesn't matter. That's not going to get killed either. Um, okay. I'm going to lose two power here, but I'm going to gain a power... Because the coal plant remains safe, so. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. But the train is safe. Alright, so you also get a bonus. If you do every single objective on an island, you get a bonus, like, free weapon at the end of it, so it's worth it. Alright, I'm back where I started. Okay, so defend the tanks. Or the tidal wave. Tidal waves are fun, but all I'd get is one power, and that's not worth it. You will not be able to do every mission. If you try to, um, you'll fail. 
Okay, so this is fun because there's a lot of water on this level. The more water, the easier the level. Um, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, so that's gonna be tough. That's not gonna be tough. Alright. How do I get rid of these guys? So this one is fairly straightforward, I think. No, not quite. So I think for him, I want to push him away. And then this one, I just have to move. And that solves that. Um, you So you can move in water and you won't take damage, but you won't be able to attack if you're in water. That's the only thing. Um, let's see. I can move further back. That'll push it into water, which I don't care too much about. I can't. I also can't block any of these, which sucks. Um, let's move here for er, for now. It's not really a spot. I'm not really planning to do anything, but and then I will punch the shit out of this thing. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can fire, but there's no point in firing anywhere. I could move the tanks away if I wanted to, um, but not really. All right. Okay. All right. Two spiders or whatever they're. These are fireflies. I think they're not too bad. That dude's going. They're both going straight into the fucking ocean. Idiots. Okay. So I think you can fire infinitely with the artillery. So these are both going in the ocean, like right away. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's done. That's easy. Uh, this one's gonna attack the tank, or so he thinks. Um, fireflies are pretty weak, so just a quick punch and it's dead. And then I'm blocking whatever the next one is. And then there's, they'll keep trying to spawn in the place you block too, so you gotta be careful. And the tanks are up. Cool. Okay. Um. I wish I could set like traps or something. I'll move that there. I do want to move this closer so I can block it next turn, but for now I'll let this one eat that block again. Um, okay, so, so this is the last turn, so even if they spawn it doesn't matter. Um, so I don't, actually yeah, the, so the regular mech I don't care if he gets experience. Or I do and I don't. This one's an AI, so it doesn't matter if I get experience for it. But if I kill it with a regular tank, actually that'll just push. I don't think the regular tanks even do damage. Yeah, they just push. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. AI is AI. Like, yeah, so there's no experience gain if you kill with AI. And I just the tanks. Admittedly, easy is a lot easier. Just less enemies makes this just more bearable. Probably have one more mission, and then the island's gonna go to shit. Defend the satellite launches. I like this one. Okay. I'm gonna go right for this dude and kick his fucking ass. And there we go. So, pod is a special thing that'll have upgrades for your mechs and stuff. Usually you can only get those at the end of um, an island, but if you find a pod, and I think a pod is guaranteed... It's just a matter of whether you get it in the first, second, third, or fourth mission. I've seen it happen in the first, and I've seen it happen in the fourth. I haven't really seen it happen in the middle, but it's surely possible. Okay, I actually can't move the way I want to here. I want to kill this thing. Oh, here we go. Wait. So yeah, you have to. If the time pod is attacked by, or if it's move, if an enemy moves on the spot with a time pod, then it'll go away. So you don't want that to happen. I'm gonna kill this thing immediately. Now that's got half the damage. That's good. I want to move him on top of that one, and then I'm going to move you here and kill. Bam. My master str strategiums. Okay, stay where you are. Good. That's That works for me. Alright, I'm going to take another hit with this one, but I'm going to push that off, so that'll be worth it. Uh, so when a satellite's about to launch, it'll kill anything... Uh, and I, I do mean insta-kill, anything on those paths, so if an enemy is still trying to attack them, that's not good, um, because 
it'll attack before it launches, so it'll still do damage to it. Let me see. Um, so I can punch that thing, or I can just artillery it off, which might be a smarter move, but then I won't get the experience for it. Also, I can just move. I kind of want to block the next person. That's my thing. I don't think he can move there, but regardless. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll take whatever mech is going to appear there. I'm, I'm fine with that for now. Okay. <clears throat> One satellite's away. Okay. That's not good because it's in a weird spot. That's also not good. Oh, stop. Okay. Um, there's a somewhat simple solution for this, which is just... If I use these two, I can push that one into the water. And then I can just punch that one, but then two more are going to spawn next turn. I don't really care. I don't I don't mind that they're going to spawn next turn. Um, so push that back. And then push it right into the water. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, these two shouldn't be too bad. That's easy. Also easy. It's like they're not even trying. Alright, so this is going to be a, a sneaky one. Um, actually, can he reach there? I, I need to get movement up for these. So I can't really do anything with this one this turn. Um, this one I can move away, which is all that really matters. This one I'm going to do a, a fun little one, which is push it towards me into the water. And then this one I'm just going to push away. I don't care that it's dead or not. And then, uh, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, the Vec will go away if you don't, uh, if you don't kill them during the mission. There's no real benefit to killing them. You don't get experience. Oh, yeah, there is. You get experience. Um, but there's no, like, bonus money or anything. <clears throat> what do we get? Tell me it's a reactor core. Yes. And passive effect. If power grid is reduced to one, all buildings gain a shield. Alright, that seems like an in case of emergency set type thing. So yeah, when there's three things left, they'll get automatically get lost. Um, where do I install the reactor? I think I'm going to install it in the combat mech. Get that movement up. And then the dash boost is super fun to use too. I'll put the passive on them for now. Oh, it needs to be powered. I mean, I'll leave it still, but I'm not going to use it. Alright, so now this is the boss one. Defeat the beetle leader. Ah, oh, the beetles suck. I fucking hate fighting the beetles. He's gonna be immune to water too. Oh, uh, you suck. Okay. I don't know if I have the firepower to take him on. Um, so this is the corporate tower. It's surrounded by other ones, so it should be easy enough to defend. Oh, this is gonna suck. So the beetle does a dash move, where whatever he's attacking, he's gonna dash straight towards it. Um, and then I don't think he takes damage from me. I think he's immune to water too. Yep, because he's supposedly he's so big that he can stand out of the water, same reason as our mechs. Um, but the water will prevent shooting, which is something. Okay. Uh, this is somewhat easy. I'm going to kind of lock him in here. So that cancels his attack, which is good. This one um, also seems pretty standard. Now he's going to block the spawn, and because I'm smart smart. I'm going to do another damage to him. So the turn's going to start and he's going to immediately die and prevent the other spawning. Yeah, so it's going to try and spawn again. How do I do this? So I'm going to have to hit it twice. Um, I can probably do this. I'm gonna move him down. Down again. I'm gonna kill this thing. <laughs> okay. And then I'll position them so that this one doesn't spawn. Preventing spawns is a big part, but also you have to be careful because the spawns will stay. So what you don't want to happen is a bunch of enemies to like be delayed in spawning and then all of a sudden they all spawn at once. That'll fuck you up a real good. Alright, who should get the XP for this kill? Probably my mech. 
Um, and then this one's going to be tough. I, I'm not going to step on that one to block the spawning because it's just not going to be worth it. Um, so I can push him once, push him twice. I'd have to push this three times to get it away, which isn't going to happen. Alright. Dead. And you get a good amount of XP for that too. That's good. Uh, I'm just going to move this one here. Ooh, I almost pushed him there. That would have been a bad idea. I'm going to move him here. <laughs> No, that still kind of sucks. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay. And then he's still blocking a spawn, which is fine. And then I'm pushing him even further. Just so he's not hitting anything. And I think this is the last turn, too. So I just gotta take care of these jabronis. This one's an idiot. Right the fuck into the water. And then I'm going to actually move out of the way. And then I'm going to do the same thing and push that right into the water. Bam! Amazing. Admittedly, this is less impressive because I'm on easy. But it still feels good. Earn nine reputation for missions on a single corporate island. Nice. Destroy the beetle, beetle leader. Protect the corporate tower. Okay. Whoa, that was a big text. I'm also waiting for a phone call, so forgive me. My phone has to stay on. Perfect, you accomplished every archive mission. You're goddamn right I did. I can get Harold Schmidt push adjacent tiles when repairing. I don't really repair. So that's not really a thing for me. Boosters, any class weapon. Jump forward and push adjacent tiles away. It's free, too, so you don't need to have power to activate it. And then grid power. I never pick grid power. I'll get the boosters. I don't really care about a pilot. Spend reputation. So now I can finally use the shop. Auto shields. Buildings gain a shield if taking damage. Uh, shield tank. Deploy a shield tank that can give shields to allies. No. Target strike. Call in an airstrike on a single tile anywhere on the map. I actually do like that. And then reactors. All about them reactors. And then I'm going to sell the passive shield or the critical shields. And just buy another reactor. Yeah. So neither of these require power, which is nice. Okay. We got some work to do now. So I have three reactors. Um, so I can get the dash, which will make me like the, uh, the beetle. Where I can charge from anywhere. Or I can try and increase the straight up damage, do plus four. That would be dope. Um, I also could increase my health. Uh, and then what does this one do? Damage on the cannon would be good. That's expensive. Damage on this would be good too, but also expensive. I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna go damage boost, I think. Um... Or if I could do dash, and then equip something else. No, you know what? I'll stick to my guns. I'm going damage. I've never done the full damage boost, and I want to see if that's worth it. Um... And then, we'll keep the airstrike. Any class can use this, I think. It might be good to keep it with the artillery. Actually, since I did unlock Dash, the boosters would be good for him. And then, although he's got, yeah, no, that's fine. And then we'll do the targeted strike with the artillery just because I think it makes more sense. Or maybe I won't, no. Well, we'll do it with him so he has a different ability, okay. That seems good. Island number two. Don't think everyone I'm falling for the time traveler stories, but your mechs there are undeniably impressive. You're goddamn right there. This one has a reactor in it and uh, two your reputation. I can't not take that. Um, but it's high threat, which means there's going to be a boss here. Oh, it's the terraformer. Nice. Okay. So defend the earth mover. Less than three grid damage. Build a robot. Protect the robotics lab. This is the robotics lab. This thing, I think you can usually activate. Um, or I think it's going to bring Earth here. I don't remember how it works. Uh, I'm going to push that beetle right off that fucking ledge. <clears throat> and then... I can actually... Well, let's see. Assuming the beetle doesn't move. 
No, I can still do that. Okay. Oh, that's a scarab, not a beetle. Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay. Alright. So. Oh, it's only at four health. I'm not even worried about that then. What I'm going to do is a wombo combo here. Oh, I think the jump booster uses my move, my attack, though. That's why it might not be worth it. I'm going to... Let me think about this. No, wait, I think I can do this. Okay. So, if I airstrike, I can attack the scarab, and it'll also move these two out of range. Which is good. Yeah, let me do that. I don't need. I can just use the regular mortar for this. Okay. He's still gonna attack him, but I'm gonna move him soon anyway. Um. Yeah, this should work. I'll block the spawn here, and I'll get rid of that in the same stroke. And then I'll just move this one up and over, I guess. Yeah. Not a not a super well optimized move, but it's not bad. Okay. We got another scarab. And now he's attacking them, which I don't like. Okay. So this one. Seems pretty straightforward just to punch that into that. Um, and then I don't know what to do about this one. Because he's going to be... There's no real way to move him out of there. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to... Ah, oh, fuck. This is going to be bad. There's no real way to solve this one. Oh, wait, yes, there is. Okay. I'll use my airstrike. Okay. So I'll stop the spawning here. Use an airstrike. Just to kill it. And then... He's got extra health, so he can take it. I'm gonna try and push it into me. Which might also mean it's still gonna attack, but... I'll at least be able to do some damage. Yeah, it didn't block. Okay, that was mostly to test to see if the web changed too. I think I still have armor though, so it, oh no, the armor is no, oh no, it works. Okay. All right. What the fuck is that? What is this thing? Blobber? I've never fought one of these before. Okay, that's not great. So it does damage and kills anything on it. That's terrible. And terrifying. Alright. That's only got one health. So we're gonna get rid of that real smooth like. Um, I have to get rid of this thing though. Okay. I'm gonna do this. He can kill that. I can kill that. And then I can move that away. I think that's the best strategy. Let's make sure this works first. Okay. So you can destroy it. That works. Um... And then, kill that, and then, this is going to push him, but that's okay. Two more enemies. I also can't take any more damage, though. Although it's an AI, it's an AI so, I mean, even if it just gets destroyed, it doesn't really matter anymore. Okay, that's got one, or two health, so... The way to do this one would be attack, and then I'll just quickly punch him to death, and then I'll quickly launch another strike. I should have killed him with that one. Well, I don't think I could have gotten the shot. Alright. Phew. And he got promoted, nice. Plus three grid defense. So, grid defense means if the enemy does break through, they'll uh, it'll attack. When it attacks one of them, there's an 18% chance they just won't take damage. 
I don't think it's very reliable, like, at all, so I don't really use it, but I can see the appeal. Alright, I kind of want to get this one, just get my power back. Defend both stellar farms, kill at least five enemies. We can just use that power immediately. Who could use more health? I think you could use more health, truth be told. Um, and then, if I want to, I can take, if I get another reactor, I can take the power off of the health and put it on dash instead. So we get a strong hornet, um, which is going to be tough, as long as I make sure to defend them. So the sand here is, uh, if you attack the sand, it'll like fluff up, and anything that's in there won't be able to attack. Really glad that they're not stepping on the time pod. Okay. Alright, so this thing can attack, oh man, it sucks. Alright, so this thing can attack two spaces, which makes it kind of annoying. Uh, this cannot... This cannot... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna immediately punch this thing to death. More, is there a way I can push this thing? Yes. But then I won't be able to block this. But then I don't really... Okay, well... Alright. I'm gonna... This is where the thing where I don't do damage to cities comes in. Actually, it doesn't matter. And then, just... Oh, wait. This might destroy the time pod. We'll use, <laughs> we'll use the airstrike for this? That seems kind of like a waste. Nah. Um, that's fine. Okay. Oh, but I didn't move because I'm stupid. Okay, well. All right. I'm gonna grab that time pod. Oh, fuck off, dude. Alright. So I have to... This thing's gonna attack there, that's gonna attack there. I literally... Oh, this sucks. I can't grab the pod. Oh wait, here we go. I have an idea. This should work. Yes. Yes! Okay. Jump boosters came into effect. That's good. Um, Alright, now we'll have to deal with these. If I... This is bad. If I... I have to use the artillery on this one. Because... Yeah. So I have to use the artillery there, because if I move him... And I have to move him this way, because if I don't, he'll just attack that one instead. And then this one... Oh, he's going to attack me if I do that, though. Oh, wait, here we go. This can work, I think. And then... Push him towards each other. Attack each other. This is how you work your problems out, guys. That's not good. It's not good that I left this thing alive. Okay, that's an easy enough one to deal with. That's not. Actually, yes it is. I'll just use the artillery on both of them. Um, this is a new one. Um, let me see. Probably gonna punch this thing to death. And then artillery over here. Which will push both of them away. They're still on the field, which isn't great, but this I don't think is gonna move. I think it just stays where it is. <coughs> Actually, it probably explodes. Um, and then I've got you, which I'll just move away. Only one more turn. Yes, the blob does detonate. Okay. That's easy enough. And that's easy enough. I'll just take the hit, honestly. I don't even care about that. Um, oh, I wonder if I can jump jet... Oh, oh, so can I jump jet out of the web? That's kind of cool. 
Alright. Punch you to death. So that's done. You only have one health left, so... Just get rid of you. Uh, if I really, really was feeling generous. And I am, so let's just... Move him away, too. Just to not take any more damage. <clears throat> so we got the power. We got... Influence. Did I get something else there? Power, influence. Oh, right, and there was a time bot on that one, too. Reactor. That's fine. That's all I need in my life. Um, I need more damage for this. But I can also just use more health for now. So. Or movement. Movement might be better. Alright, so we got Rust District and Battle with Less Than 4 Mech Damage. Protect the Old Earth Bar. Seismic Activity, which is Earthquakes. Um, I don't need Power Grid, though, so I'm not going to do that at all. Okay. Um, I don't have Dash yet. i have to try and get as close as I can. And this. And this. They're really not giving me a lot of space to work with here. I really don't like these things. So I can destroy it, I think. Um, I think if I move it up, that'll work out. Um, ah, there's a bunch of enemies here at once. Um, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna punch you out and damage that one. Um, I'm gonna move you into you. Move here. This is gonna damage my mech, but that's okay. Move it up. Now it's safe. Everything, everybody's safe. Gladly take those hits from my people. Ugh. Fuck. I really need to kill this thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's exactly what I'll do. Stop dropping mines. I don't appreciate you. So I can't attack from that smoke. But I can attack here. Oh no, I can't. Oh, fuck. I might have to use this one. Yeah, okay. And then... Is this one not attacking? Okay, so that works. And then I guess to move this away... I should attack here. Uh, okay. Everybody's safe for now. Oh, they're just appearing out of here. So that's what's happening. Okay. That's not great, truth be told. Um, I don't need much of this. Okay. Kill that one. Kill that one. Uh, will that work? Not really. I need to at least damage one of these. Um, damaging is more important than moving them at this point. Okay. Alright, that's an easy fix. Um, sort of. Actually, here we go. that there. Move out of the way. Long shot over there. Move there. Okay. And we win. Some may say genius. I think just a tac tactical god is um, appropriate. Alright, I got one more. They're gonna force me to take power, which I don't like. Do not kill Volatile Vec, protect the power generator. Take less than three grid damage, protect the gold. Now we'll do this one. I haven't actually done one with earth earthquakes yet. I've done one with, with tsunamis, but not earthquakes. Okay, let's try and spread them out a bit. So usually, Cataclysm, Mark Squares will sink to the earth, killing anything on them. Okay. They're like buried over here. 
how did they even, oh, the fucking scarab. I was going to like, how did they even attack him over there? All right, well, I'll just kill it. And then attack that. Attack here. All right, that's good for this turn. That's good, though. It gives me a place to push him if I want to. That's not good, because it's going to cut me right off. <laughs> I don't really care about that. Um, let's see. So I'll... Yeah, here we go. Attack that one. Move here. Attack them. And then this one, I'll just move and punch it. Because it's not damaging anything here. It's going to blow up a bunch of smoke, though. Yeah, look at that. That's it? Just a booster? So this thing, uh, unlike the green one, which adds extra health, this one makes it so when enemies die, they explode. Um... This is easy enough, though. Um, let's see. So they're gonna spawn there. Can this one make it over there? Yes, okay. Just gonna punch him. Dead. Move that there. Block the enemies. Done. Easy. Literally. I shouldn't feel proud of that. This is nice, though, because hard mode was kicking my ass, so... Or normal mode was kicking my ass, I should say. And grid defense, because my power is maxed, my grid defense goes up. So now it's 20% instead of 15. Drawn out by your offensive against the Vec. Oh, it's the fucking goo. I hate this thing. So the goo is annoying, and it'll quick quickly become apparent why. Um... It, sp it splits into multiple things. Um, it's also got a decent amount of health to begin with. Oh, it's trying to attack me. Awfully bold. Okay. Move away from it. Just because I can. So now it splits into two. With two health instead of three. I need to kill this thing. It's so far over there. Alright, I'm going to move there to stop the spawn. Ooh. Actually, I can hit it. And then, I don't know what to do. Just move it away. Oh, okay. I see the problem now. Well, I can't move this one, so I'll just... I do have an attack, but it's like, is it even worth it? Because they can just move next turn. I think they have infinite movement, too. So I'll just do this for shits and giggles, but... I don't think it's going to be very effective. Nice. They're attacking this now, which I don't like. Alright, so... How do I do this? Well, I need to attack both of these. Or it's all for naught. So I'll attack there. Push that one away. This one... There really isn't much I can do. Um, other than just tank the hit. Which I will. Oh, actually, I might have just killed this mech. Oh no. I did. Fuck, I forgot he's blocking a spawn. Oh my god, that armor literally just saved his life. Holy shit. Oh my god. That is actually insane. I can't believe I just got that close. I'm stupid. Okay. I can kill these two goo without much trouble, because um, they each have one health, so what I can do is just punch that one into that one, um, but then I still have the mosquito or whatever it is, the wasp, to deal with. I think... Okay, I think I know how to do this. So I'll move here, attack that one. Gonna attack this one normally. Punch them into each other. This one I'm gonna move here. 
gonna attack that. I'll tank the hit from the wasp. Interesting. Okay. That's sort of easy enough. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. It isn't, it isn't. Okay. No, I got this. Alright. Punch. Damage. Do a mortar from way the fuck over here. Kill that one. Move here. And dead. Just like chess. Hope my family was watching. Yeah. I think that's a perfect map, too. Perfect island. You complete every mission despite the odds. You've earned my respect. Alright, so we got a, we got the grappling hook, which is one of the things that, uh... Um... Towards mechs, towards objects, or units to the mech. Yeah, so the, the grappling hook... Um... Oh, wait, I, I should pick a pilot. What's wrong with me? So the grappling hook is one of the the Blitzkrieg mechs things. Okay, I'm gonna put you in here. Now I have a pilot. Mech can move through enemy units. I don't know if that'll be a big thing, but... Spend a reputation? Hell yeah, okay. So there's a sail on Spartan shield. Bash the enemy, flipping its attack direction. Oh, that's actually cool. Um, and then there's an aerial bombs, which you jump over it and deal bomb and smoke. Spartan shield. Smoke bombs, I don't care about. Um, okay, and then kickoff boosters. Mech gains plus. Okay, so these aren't very good. Um, I am okay with the Spartan shield. That seems like a good one. Plus it's only one. Who cares? And, uh, do I have anything to sell? Not really. I'm kind of using everything right now. I'm not using the boosters. But there's nothing I really want for it, so I'll just grab more power, I guess. Okay. So I got two reactors. Let's see. Do I want to add dash? Or do I want to add damage here or something? Um, what kind of damage here? This would probably be better, actually. So now the damage is up. Boosters, I'm going to replace Spartan shields, so I can flip them now. It only does two damage, but... Oh, it's not powered? Not yet, I'm not going to use it then. Okay. And then... Yeah. Alright, well... Shit. I guess I can move the booster to... Someone else? Put the Spartan Shield on there for now. I'm willing to bet the Spartan Shield is a main weapon of another uh, class. Okay. By completing two islands, you've unlocked Pinnacle Robotics. In future games, you'll be able to visit unlocked islands in any order. Final mission. After securing two corporate islands, the final mission is available to complete. The difficulty of this battle scales your current progress. Fighting it now will be as much of a challenge as attempting it after securing additional islands. Securing more civilians before the final mission will allow you to save more civilians and increase your final score. Let's push it. Let's go for Pinnacle Robotics. Um, a frozen environment. And they've added new leader, or new enemies, which I really wish they didn't. New and old, because they've... those fucking bombing ones. On behalf of Pinnacle, I welcome you. The climate on our island is an ideal for humans, but the low temperatures are vital for machine life to thrive. Horizon Zero Dawn, is that you? Okay. This one has a reactor, so I have to do it. Um, not even worth arguing over. Alpha Blobber. An Alpha Leaper. What do the Leapers do? Web the target, preparing to bite it. Okay, so that's... And I'll bet they've moved further. That's the difference, okay. What do you do, Centipede? Launch a vial of mass of goo applying acid on nearby units. So it splashes and deals damage. Okay, so kill those things early. God, this, this one's gonna be tough. I can feel it. I wish you hadn't done that. Wait, what the fuck just happened here? Laserbot? What? 
Not powered units of the power and active and cannot move or attack. So, is that from them? I think so. Defend the robot facilities. This is gonna suck. Okay, how do I do this? They only have three health. So I can kill one of them. Or both. Let me see. If I... Okay, so I can punch one of these things to death. What I might do, punch this one, which will kill it, and then it'll also do damage to this. Ah, oh, fuck. What do I do here? This one's only attacking... No, because... Well, if it bounces off this, it'll deal damage, right? So, yes, okay. So if I don't get hit... Whatever it hits will take the damage, but then it'll attack this thing. This is not fair. I have to... Someone is going to have to get hit. I don't have enough power to do this. Unless I airstrike and move things out of here. But I still don't think there's enough. It's ice. It turns into water when destroyed. Must be hit twice. So I can kill this one. That's the easiest one. These ones are going to be tough. Does not help they all take multiple hits. So I could airstrike this, which would move those two away. This one has so much fucking health, too. Okay. There's nowhere for me to move this, actually. I have to destroy it. Um, let me see. If I airstrike him, it'll move him away. So, and then if I attack it, I'll kill it, and that one will be moved away. That's still there and still going to explode. This one's going to take the hit no matter what. I have to defend that for the influence, though. <sighs> I don't like making these hard choices. Okay. This one has to die. There's no getting around it. But could I kill these other ones if I tried hard enough? We're going to... We're going to get risky here. I'm going to go with my gut. stop that one with this mech no matter where I hit oh this sucks but I can stop that one so I'm not gonna be able to get the robot factory whatever it doesn't even matter it does matter it matters a lot it bothers me a lot okay I'll just oh wait boosters <gasps> wait not because <gasps> it's still not good enough so if I move here, I can't get into a position where the boosters will really... Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'll tank the hit. That'll work. So if I move here, then the boosters are... Then this is safe. And then... Fuck. I still can't get rid of that blob, though. Not gonna lie, that one hurts. Oh wait, they're bad? Why are they attacking me? We need to kill the factory before it sends more killers? I mean... The opponent's objective is to defend these. Well, shit. Okay. Um, this seems like a gimme, which is to punch that thing, but it's not. This needs to be destroyed, that needs to be destroyed. Um, fuck, it's gonna be extra hard. Okay. I need to not even think about... Oh, wait, hang on. If I move this one here, I might be able to... It doesn't matter. I need to kill this before it, it launches anymore. And then I'll move out of the way of the robot. Oh, no. There's three being attacked again. If I... I can move... 
If I move this thing, then it's not attacking. If I move that thing, then it's not attacking. So that would be good. What am I doing here? Oh, wait. I got it. Hang on. This solves a bunch of problems at once, actually. And then... Yes, nothing is being attacked here. So the armor recharges every round. That's good. That actually could have gone worse. So the robot, if you must, the threat it poses to innocence is too high. How do they hack the robots? That's what I want to know. And that robot's being attacked by that, and the attack order tells me it's attacking first. There's not one attacking the plant. Fuck, this is... There's so many moving parts. Okay. Um, leave that where it is. Or leave it near where it is, anyway. Because it's going to destroy that robot. Um, I'll... Oh, I can airstrike. So I'll block here. Airstrike. That doesn't really matter. I'll only strike that. So that one's dead. This one I can move... Here, maybe? Actually, I'll do here. Just to move it a little bit closer. And then... Oh, wait, here we go. Hell yeah. That wasn't even on purpose. Oh god, this one's so much harder than it needs to be. <laughs> okay. This one's easy enough. Who needs to level still? You do. Um, so I'll attack it. Artillery. And then... Boom. Okay. That was so fucking stressful, and I still didn't get 100%. Where's that defense grid bonus when I needed it? He got promoted. He got a bunch of XP. Plus one mech move. Nice. Alright. Who is in this one? Is it you? So you've got plus one move, which means we don't need this anymore. Which means we can power the Spartan shield. That might come in handy. Give me more options. Or if I want to be really risky, I could just start dashing now. I could take off the Spartan shield and the health, but... I'll play it safe for now. You already have a good amount of move, so I'll put the health on instead. Um, more damage for this thing would be nice, but it requires a lot, so. Although, I did just get a reactor core. Um, for now, let's install this. And then, if I get two more, probably at the end of the round, I'll do the damage boost. And I have to do shielded vaults. Because this leads nowhere, so that's no point. Kill five enemies, protect the emergency batteries. I don't want to do this. Okay. Um, there. There, there. This video is going long because uh, I didn't think I would make it this far. And a pod, hell yeah. Please don't step on that pod. How much health do these things have? That's the real question. They have... Does it not tell me how much health they have? Oh, but they literally only have one? That's awesome. Okay, uh, this seems like a gimme, which is to push that under that. Um, this one, less of a gimme. But I still could probably do it. Okay, so... Artillerize that thing over there. And this is still being attacked. So I'll... Use this first. Oh man, this is big boy plays. I'll bet it's attacking first, though. Oh no, it's not! Okay, cool. So that works out. That one's not in danger. I don't have to kill that one this turn either, so... We'll walk over, punch our friend. Oh, shit, if I punch him, he goes in there. I don't think I can punch him. Oh, this is the better move, too. We'll grab the time pod. How about that? 
And then, <gasps> wait! I can use the Spartan thing, right? And will that... It flips them. But it doesn't... It also does damage. It doesn't push. Yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. Having a punch that doesn't, like... Doesn't actually move them is pretty helpful. That sucks, because I could have prevented that. Fuck, I hate you. Ugh, you suck. Alright. This thing's only attacking me, so I'm not as worried about it. This needs to die. These are very easy to deal with, though. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, do I want to do a big play? I think I do. Here's my plan. Destroy that ice. That has to be hit twice, so it's not going to matter. Oh, and if I do this, then he'll... Fuck. So this will move him away. I think I got this. I think I have enough moves for this. Um, I gotta move. Um, hopefully I can make it over there too. Oh boy, I can't. That's not good. I thought I could move over there. Alright. We'll keep pushing him further away. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to punch this thing. Um, or fake punch it. Damn it. At least I'm preventing a spawn. Still going at it, huh? Oh, fuck off. I hate you. Alright, well, this is pretty easy. There's only two things that are being targeted, or three things, I guess. Alright. This one I can just move. I think. No. I'm gonna say I could attack this here, which would push him into the firing range of that, but that's not gonna work. Um Oh my god, this sucks. And three are spawning next turn. Fuck. Okay. This thing needs to be killed ASAP though. So I might just Actually that's not a bad plan. So kill this one. And block a spawn. That does seem like a good move. Need to kill that thing somehow, and I need to kill this thing somehow. So, I think my best course of action is to move here, kill that thing, and then again, I'm gonna have to use my fucking shield thing to kill that. Oh god. I need to kill more enemies, too. Stop it. I'm sick of your nonsense. Okay. Four targets on the board. This one is very, very easy. Just leave it alone. It doesn't matter. This one... This needs to be gotten rid of. But it's easy enough to get rid of that. This... Oh, actually, wait. I might be able to... Might be better if I attack a different set of people with this one. Might just, yeah, let's get rid of this. Move him there. Did someone get the thing? Yes, okay. Um, punch that. And then, honestly, you can just move out of the way. Um,. This thing, it annoys me that I let it live the entire um, map, but it's also not necessary to kill it, so. <sighs> These are getting tough. Hopefully we got another reactor. There was a person in the pod? Plus one mech reactor, gain plus three on the first turn of every mission, and a re mech reactor. It's not bad. Alright, who's in this one? There's a generic pilot in one of these. Grid defense and mech move. That's not as good as mech reactor, I gotta be honest. 
Um, and then the impulsive means that first move, which is cool. And then I could also just install it, and I could get the dash, which would be neat. And then this one has... What was I waiting on? I think I was trying to wait for this, the damage buff. Oh no, I was waiting for the damage buff on this one. Um, <clears throat> this is tough. Let's leave that for now. Impulsive mech reactor. Um, now let's do it. Dash is fun. Gives me more movement options too. Okay. So we're going to go here because our power is full. I didn't realize grid defense percent went down. Um, freeze and defend both robots. How do I do that? Okay. Um, how do I freeze both of them? Ooh. Ooh. Probably this, right? Hmm. Um. Another pod? Holy shit. So what is this thing? How do I freeze both of them? It must be this thing, right? Um. Oh, wait. Hang on. Uh, oh, it moves! It's a thing! Oh. <coughs> My guess is it just freezes. That's easy enough. This unit is frozen. It cannot move or attack. It will remain frozen until it takes damage. Alright. That's simple enough. I gotta not destroy that robot. Um, this thing I can destroy, though. Okay, move this over here to block the spawn. You know what, I'll block the spawn too. Because I'm feeling nice. Well, not nice, but I'll, I'm feeling like I don't want to attack it, or I don't want to deal with anything. That laser's kind of ridiculous. I think I can freeze that one. Um, if I move this here... Can I... I sure can. Done. And I gotta protect the time pod, which is right there. Ah, oh, there's gonna be another spawn. Fuck. What if I move here? Because then when that one spawns, I'll have better access to it with the robot. And now the freeze bot is kind of freed up, too. Oh, what is this thing? Alpha centipede. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, they're also taking a lot of hits here, but what happens if I do this? Haha. -ha. Um, I wonder if you take increased damage when they're frozen. So three, three, three. I mean, I can definitely kill this thing. Um, it's just a matter of if I want to kill it. I'll wait till next turn. We'll see what happens. Because I want to stop as many of the spawns as I can. Taking a lot of hits with this. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Um, alright. So. It's probably going to break this. Oh, it does zero damage. Never mind. Um, I don't want to do that then. Is that water? Funny thing about water. Um, let's see its movement first. Okay. Oh, I got options. Oh, wait. I know what I can do here. So if I attack this, that'll move this over one, and that'll move that one over one. Oh, I can't because I'm not in that space. Let's grab the time pod. And then move these two over. Yes. And then punch that shit straight into the water. And then shoot that shit straight into the water. Hell yes. The 
back. Flee, cowards. All right. That one was not hard because of the freeze robot, but it was stressful. Frozen planes is probably what I gotta do. Well, which one? Take less than three grid damage, protect the power generator, and battle with less than four mech damage, protect the coal plant. This one's probably gonna be easier. And I have another reactor. Um, let's see. I should probably add it to this one so I can work on that damage buff. Um, for now, I'll just give it extra health. Um, yeah. I also didn't use dash. I keep forgetting I have it. Alright. We'll do this one. Oh, there's mines. That's fun. Oh, they're freeze mines, though. Okay. That makes it easier. So, mines are insta-kill if you stop on them, but because these are freeze mines, I guess they're insta-freeze if you stop on them. The enemies will just do this on their own sometimes, which is great. Very appreciated. Okay, guys. Relax. Um, how do I handle this one? Okay, I could just leave those ones frozen. Oh, you know what I could do? I could push them into those. I think I have the ability to do that, too. Alright, we're gonna punch this one first, which is gonna break that, I think. But it's gonna push him. No, it's not gonna push him, okay. Um, let's see here. Push him on the spawn. So that'll kill him and prevent the spawn. And then I'll do this. And then I'm going to kill this. Oh, it's going to push that into me, but I think the armor will stop it. Oh, you know what? I wonder if... I wonder if that'll break the ice. I'd much rather just leave them. We'll take a risk here and we'll leave them. Okay. I wonder how long they stay frozen. Let's say. Invisible but unable to move or attack. Any damage will free the unit. So it's any damage. Okay. Yeah, there's no real water in this one, so I'd much rather just leave them. Ah, I knew this was too good. I knew it couldn't last forever. So if I do it this way. Only two will spawn, which I'm fine with. Okay, what does this one do? Because this is new. Flying units can move over. All other VEC have incoming weapon damage reduced by one. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Alright. Um, I think I'll probably move out of the way for this. Let him kill that, and then punch that to death, and then uh, end of mission. Hell yeah. What are we going to do with these frozen dudes? Okay. Leave everything to the cryo mines froze. To my cleanup try as ultimate, the process time to ensure they will safely do whatever. It's boss time. Destroy the Scion Abomination. Protect the Corporate Tower. Well, let's see if I can look at these first. All other vet gain plus one HP, regeneration, and explode on death. I don't like that. I think that's not fair. Um, throw a sticky blob. Oh, these suck. Okay. I'm going to try and go straight for that, and I'll use the leftover uh, health. I'll just use uh, an airstrike to take care of. I think that'll work. It's like he knew my plan. Okay. Luckily, that's not actually damaging anything, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, oh, yes it is. How do I get out of that position, then? Okay, if I get rid of this thing... I wonder if I can make him damage his own thing. I probably can. Um, let me see. This might be a, uh, a crafty one. I'm going to try and... 
going to try and move Big Boss onto this thing, because I think it'll kill it. Um, going to be risky. But it's going to be fun, too. So I think this will work. I wonder if that'll... Oh, no. Okay, I see. I was mistaken. It shows... But this is going to work out, I think. Um, so it, it destroys that, and it still takes damage. Um, what was this thing attacking originally? Doesn't matter anymore. Um, I'm going to have you... Right into that motherfucker. Okay. Armor continues to be awesome. Okay, so there's only two. Fuck. I think I can probably... So that's a three. That's got one. How do I deal with this? Okay. So I can... I want to try and punch that thing. I think, let me see. I can't move further, but I think if I do this. Oh no, I can't attack there. Um, I think if I attack this, it'll destroy that thing. It'll move ba that back so it's not attacking. It will move this thing back too, which isn't great, but. That's okay. So now I just have to deal with this dude. Alright. They're kind of blocked in for movement too. Oh, so they do have movements. They can't they can't move as far as I thought they could. Okay. Alright. I just gotta smash these two into each other. Um prevent the spawn of that would be great. Um I think I will They have three health, so Oh, I think I got an idea. This may or may not work. We'll see after this. Okay. Um, so punch that thing to death. Wow, promotion. I think I've learned all this in the sim training. And then... Kill that thing. And then, yes, it will work. Booster right on top of this. And that, my friends, is an end of mission. Hell yeah. Oh, God. Big brain plays. Okay. Hey, they got promoted. What's their extra ability? I mean, mech HP is okay. Prospero requires one power, but the mech gains flying. Plus one mech move. That's kind of dope. Um, wind torrent push all units in a single direction. That's kind of cool, too. And then obviously power. I'm gonna grab this dude, because flying sounds dope. Um, okay. Spend that rip. Force amp, all vec take plus one damage from bumps and blocking emerging vec. That's not bad. Um, is that one on sale? Oh, this one is. Stabilizers, mechs no longer take damage. One blocking and emerging thing. That's awesome. Okay. It does take power, though. Of course it does. Mercury Fist. Smash the ground, dealing huge damage and pushing adjacent, adjacent tiles. That's kind of cool. Oh, but it's a one use. Hydraulic Legs. Leap to a tile, damaging self and adjacent tiles. Um, Alright. Gonna grab... Oh, they're all so good. I take one damage from bumps and blocking bridging back. Okay. That definitely seems better. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab... Do I want stabilizers? I'm gonna leave stabilizers for power, because I think I need power more. I could start selling this shit, because I'm not using all of it. Oh, I lied. I am using it all. 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You are fine. More move would be great, but your starting ability, you're already... Yeah, I'll leave that. Who doesn't have an ability equipped? You have boosters, but I'd much rather force amp. Um, that's right, I was going to install more power to you. Um, okay, I'm going to take one of the move away, I'm going to take the health away. We're going to do the force amp, we're going to do the damage up. I think that'll be good. So Prospero, mech gains, flying. Do I need flying, though? Well, that's cool. I don't need it. It's also just the best option I had at that point. Okay. Final island. Detrius Disposal. Here we go. He would use a mech. On an, on a, our island was once one of hundreds of Detrius Disposal sites in the Vec came, but with your arrival, I can hope again. I don't need power at all. I do need to destroy the acid vats. Oh, this one's going to be all about acid. Vats in this region contain chemicals poisonous to the Vec. Breach the containment and the Vec will vacate the sector. So they want me to destroy these. Okay. They have two health. Which shouldn't be a problem. What's going to be a problem is getting my punchy punch mech around. Um, okay. Ooh, what is this? That's new. It looks like a snake. Think a pod's in the way? Hell yeah. Well, that's good, because that means I, that guy actually went into punch range, which is nice. What the fuck is a burrower? This unit is inflicted with acid. Its defense is corroded, becoming incoming weapon damage will be doubled. All the damage is unaffected. Okay. Including push, fire, and blocking. Okay. Um, so this is... We'll hide underground after taking one or more damage. Cannot be moved by any weapon effect. Okay. That's not good. That means I have to kill it. Um, this thing, it doesn't matter. Because if I move, it's gonna... Be gone. Um, let's see. I want... So if I move there... I can attack this thing, which should get it to go away. Um, I'm trying to think of what to do here. All right. So we need to assess here. This isn't. This is actually going to be attacked. If I destroy, this is not going to. This is not mission critical. This is. So what happens if I if this gets destroyed? Does it just cover them with acid, or does it transform the current tile into a pool of acid? Okay. Um. I'm gonna... If I attack that, it won't kill it. If I attack that one, it will kill it. But it'll also push it towards the vat. Um, which isn't good. But I can airstrike it. Um, I think this would probably be the best course of action. Let's test it out. So he does hide after one attack. Okay, that's good. So now I can safely attack that one. That's going to do double damage. That's pretty funny. So that moves the acid, but it doesn't destroy it. Um, and then I'm just going to do a dash punch, which is it's a slow dash punch, but it's a dash, dash punch nonetheless. So two more are going to spawn, and the burrower is still here. You're a leaper, you're not too hard. You're not too hard either. Okay. I think this will probably be beneficial. I can push it into the acid. Um, it's going slow. I don't have enough turns to kill the acid, is the problem. Okay, I'll be able to do it next turn, actually. Okay. Um. Attack that. Did destroy the acid, that's good. So I got that one down. This one is going to be easy, just attack, gone. This one's also easy, just punch. Okay. 
It's only one spawned, and it's not even attacking anything mission crit critical, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna do the airstrike, I think. Which will push that away as well. Um, so that's mission complete, that's good. Um, this one... I can't really get in a good position to attack it. But I can sort of get ready for a good position. Same here. Oh, I wish there was more I could do. I think I can... Oh, so I can aim to the end here. Yeah, why not? So dashing can either be used as an, an extra move, or it can be used to... Um, uh, just attack enemies from distance. Oh god, what do you do? Blood Scion. Probably just Regen. Uh, I'll live back here. One at the start of the turn. Yeah, that's what I thought it did. Okay. Um, that's pretty easy to deal with, though. So are you. If you had gained a health, then we'd have a problem. Oh yeah. So we're going to getting him max level. I think there's a uh, an in-game thing for getting three max level pilots. Vortex Fist. Damage and push all adjacent tiles to the left. And it does damage to you too. Which is not great. More importantly, a reactor. Um, who needed the reactor? Someone did. Oh, you, because I wanted to give you more health. Um, so that's good. Everyone's health is boosted. That's good. Gain shield when bashing, plus one damage to bashing. Um, I think the next thing I'll work on is increasing the damage output for the Tartarus cannon. Um, so that's pretty reliable. Venting fields. Uh, high threat detected. I don't really need... I'll kill four enemies infected with acid. Uh, Oh, cool, there's an acid tank. Alright, that should be easy enough to kill once I get in position. This should also be able to get in position pretty well, and then you can attack from anywhere. Oh, another pod, too? I'm definitely going to kill this thing this turn, though. So I can solve a couple problems at once here. Um, I gotta kill four enemies with acid. How is that supposed to happen? Alright, we'll attack this one. And then I'm gonna wait for the punch, but for now, I'm gonna attack these three. I'm not gonna push him, but it'll push him, which will also stop his attack. This one's still attacking, but honestly, I'm just gonna punch him in the face, <laughs> so not really worried about that. Um, let me see what else I gotta deal with him too, but that shouldn't be as hard. The only thing is I can't damage him without damaging something else, so I'm gonna have to use an airstrike, which I would have preferred to not use, but so can I undo this move? Since I'm gonna airstrike, I might as well. Okay. So I need to kill three more that are hit with acid. Plenty of turns to do so. I'm gonna watch that pod too. And burrower's back. Okay. Okay. And they're still coming too. I always forget about that. Um, alright. This seems like a good thing to do here. Um I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna. This should kill. Oh, yeah, because I have the extra push thing. Yeah. I like that. That's good. Um, I can still move him, but there's not really a good spot to do so. Let's try and get a more fortified position. Really hope that they don't grab the time pod. The burrower, another 
That's fine. They keep going for that spot. Okay. Um, can I? Yes. Here we go. Hmm. No, that'd be a bad idea. Actually, my initial plan was to um was to acid that thing and then use the bombs. But then if I did that, it would uh well, actually this can still work. This can actually work quite nicely. Because I'm going to have to bomb him anyway. Um, let's see. I'm going to move him there. I'm going to move him to the spawning point. And since he doesn't move, I don't have to worry about hitting the buildings. And then I'm going to have to move him away. Oh, wait. Big plays. Oh, I, I already moved, didn't I? Okay, shit. What I was gonna do is I was gonna slam him into that. It's too late now. I just do regular damage. I don't have to be so coy about it. I keep forgetting I have the damage upgrades. Okay. Uh oh. I just realized I'm not gonna be able to get the acid thing if I don't, uh. If I don't. Oh, I can do it. Sort of. I have to kill it. That's fine, okay. What the hell is this thing? Ugh. That's awful. Uh, hatch into spiderling, okay. Uh, let me see. So if I move that there, I can shoot this with acid, and I can just attack it normally. Yeah. And this is gonna get something. I don't know what, but we'll see. Interesting. Why did the spider die? I wonder if it just didn't have the ability to crawl back down. Okay. Give me a reactor. Acid tank. To play a tank that can apply acid to targets. How convenient. We just had one of those. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, and then a reactor core. Um, we need the reactor again? You did. Maybe extra move for now. Yeah, acid tank costs too much. I can't do that. Okay, um, conveyor belts. Stop block of spawning three times. Take less than three grid damage. This is the standard one. Oh, I'm not going to get to the reactor, I don't think. Oh no wait, I might... I might have one more mission after this. Okay. This kinda sucks. Is that acid rain? Neat. This is a more standard one. I wonder if acid still counts as drowning. I don't appreciate that at all. Alright, so first things I'm gonna do... Uh, I'm gonna get over here. I don't like this spot at all, though. We're gonna get rid of that. Push him forward. Oh, how convenient. And then I'm gonna... Yeah. Kill those two jabronis. And then... Take him out the old-fashioned way. Okay. Not a clean turn, but not too bad either. Very manageable. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Just... GTFO. That's also easy enough. Just GTFO. Move that closer to the next spawn. And then, uh, yeah. One of the mechs can throw rocks, which can stop spawning like that. And that's a pretty cool one, but... It's also not a necessity or anything. Straight up battle one. It's kind of crazy. And we're done. Booyah. That was a nice quick one. I'm now powerful enough to stand against it, I think. This is ironic because the first time I beat FTL was after playing it for a bunch and then I recorded it. And I think I'm about to do the same thing with this game. 
Okay. Please tell me I can still do this mission. I can. Defend the disposal unit, destroy all mountains, protect the defense lab. How the hell am I going to destroy all mountains? Um, alright. There's only six. Ooh, what does this thing do? It launches acid? Hell yeah. I gotta be careful where I place my guys, though. Um, try and put them out of the way, if there is a way. There are five enemies at once, which is concerning. Okay. 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 Oh god, this sucks. Alright. What does the acid launcher do? Dissolve all target target tiles with acid. Oh my god. Yes, please. Okay, so this will destroy those two, which will save those two buildings. So that's two birds, one stone. And it'll destroy some of the mountains. I need to I need three turns at least, I think. Destroy all mountains. So it's insta-kill too. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Um, alright. Two attacking enemies left. Probably should punch this dude. Um Actually, I should probably punch this dude. Oh, that's on acid though. Um playing with fire here. Okay. That's probably better in the long run. And then who can I attack with this? I'm kind of in a weird spot here. I'm gonna shoot this dude the normal way. Move here. And just kill it the normal way. Okay, so that is a unit, but I can't move. That's that's good. <laughs> Mildly concerned for a second, I was about to put that in the acid. Okay, that for a crazy start of that turn, this is not a bad end. Okay, you're still there, but you're very very easy to deal with. I can't block those spawns, which is going to not be great. I can block this one. If I... Yeah, so this is fine. And then I could just use him to kill the burrower. Which seems fine. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. That's fine. That actually isn't too bad. Let's move back. Okay. So, yeah. That's dope as fuck. <laughs> I love that they let you use these, like, little, um, or these, like, mini kind of weapons or during this. I wonder if he took double damage from blocking. I think he pro- or no, there's no damage from your acid, right? Or did I get that wrong? Okay. This is gonna be tough. It will both be tough and not tough. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I'm gonna... I move. No, I have to... There's no spot I can block the spawn. And kill that thing. Although I can still do it with him. And then continue to block the spawns. And then destroy the last of the mountain. Plus this gives me a free attack next turn with that thing. Which is nice. Okay. Wonder if there's a good spot I can get that hits most of those guys. No, I can't hit both of them and not hit a city. That sucks. But I can probably get this dude way over here. Um, alright. Since this isn't going to push him, I'll do that. And then... Just a simple punch. Whew. Hell yeah. Okay. On to the last mission. HQ. Uh, let's give you another thing, though. 
Okay. I'm ready. Destroy the firefight leader, protect the corporate tower. You got a lot of health. Uh, launch goo projectiles in two directions. Oh, fuck, that's not good. Alright. I'm ready, though. Two hits. That's all it's gonna take for that guy. Um. Could not have made that easier for me. Okay, so the only one actually targeting is that one. So, we'll try and deal with that first. Voiced off. Punching the shit out of you. And then I'm gonna... Which way is this one attacking? Oh, what can I do here? I want to kill that one this turn, because he's going to do a lot of damage. I have to defend that. They're probably just going to have to eat these hits. And yeah, it's not it's not that hard of attack, an attack. I'm not that worried about it. Dead on first turn. That's good. Um, all right, I'm just move them actually. So he's really just, just going to hit him. I think he might spit acid, though. Which could uh, go badly for me. Yeah, so he has how much health? Three? Probably a good one to just bomb him from over here. This one's got four. This one's gonna block that. Bam. Booyah, Kasha. Alright. Um, and continue. I can't believe that it was that simple. <laughs> Alright. Well, moving right along. Plus some re mech reactor. Oh, that's awesome. An aggressive bonus plan for excellence performance. We got a new pilot after attacking, gain one free tile movement. Uh, three grid defense. Or ramming engines. Uh, flying a line and slamming to the target, pushing it and hurting herself. Uh, I'm gonna go with new pilots. And then I'm gonna see what you've got to. Flamethrower. Holy shit. Push target and light tiles on fire. Uh, damage is stuff. Unstable cannon. I use this one for a bit, actually. That's a pretty cool one. Micro artillery. Potential launch. Multiple small project projectiles. Um, alright. First off, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Boosters. I love you, but I'm getting rid of you for now. Uh, and then Viscera max heal damage when they deal a killing blow. That's, I mean, health's not really an issue. So I don't really have to worry about that. I also, I'm pretty con pretty happy with the weapons I have. I'm just gonna buy reactors. Um, okay. Um, so yeah. Let's... Oh, there's nothing else to install on you. Yeah, we're good then. And then you. Let's install. Install. Now I've got plus damage. There's nothing else I can really improve here. I could give movement, which is fine. And then I can just gain a shield, I guess, if I happen to use that. But overall, that seems uh seems pretty good. Ready. Final mission, you can complete the final mission at any point. Let's do it. With the vector driven off the island, you have a chance to wipe them out as their source, your humanity's last hope. Goddamn right I am. Alright. Primary objective is to survive the fight. Well, you don't seem to have a lot of confidence in me. Victory in five turns. There's a volcano. Okay. And there's water, which is my favorite. Deploy 
and keep you connected to the grid. Oh, okay. I still have to defend them. Okay, so we got that. Gotta be honest, from what I'm seeing so far, I think I got this. Oh, no, wait, I lied. I forgot about these things. Okay. Um, alright. Let's start off a bit of a bang. Um, okay, and then you can... I need to take that thing out. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Let it go off. Who cares? Um, let's move this way. Kill that one. Boop. And then shoot that. One thing left is that one. I could have tried to block that spawn, but I'm fine. The lava is pretty dope. Now there's just random fire. That's pretty cool. Okay. You have no idea the thunder you're about to get unleashed on you. Um, okay. Bam. And then... Nobody else spawned, right? Okay. Keep him there. Keep you there. And they both have artillery that they can use against this new guy. Oh, what the fuck is this thing? I don't like you. Scion Tyrant. Oh, they're gonna spawn in the fucking burning one, that's fair. All player units take one damage at the end of every turn. Uh, I don't agree with that, so... We're gonna actually... Oh, that'll push him, which isn't gonna be great. That's fun. Um, he's already on fire, so I'm in as well. No, I'll block this one instead. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much else I can do at this point. This volcano is dope as hell, though. What are you? Oh, you're a regular scarab. I'm not worried. Last turn. That makes this pretty easy. Did did I do it? Did I beat the game? There's really no final boss. I take issue with that. Oh, here we go. Coming seismic activity, brace yourselves. The island cannot defeat us, so it tries to swallow us. What in the name of two health bars? Sending down power pylons. Keep them operational. We don't have any more. So I wonder if they only send as many pylons as you have grid power. Our weapons cannot kill this hive. Playing a Renfeld bomb. Defend it while it primes and it will destroy the hive. Hell yeah. Defend the bomb with your mech and your life. Why are we threatened? What's happening? Oh my god, okay. So... How much health does this thing have? Uh, when does this happen? I think they happened before the fights, right? Yeah, environment goes first. Okay, so... If it's gonna kill anyway... Then... I'm gonna do a sneaky. We'll attack this one first. And then... I guess I'll attack... This one. I just realized it's an alpha. That's not good. Okay. I probably have to do it with this one, now that I think about it. Oh, there's no real good way for me to get in position here. Right. This either works or it doesn't. Looks like it's gonna work. And then I'm just gonna push this one out of the way for now. 
Give me those fallen rocks. Oh god, I'm seeing tentacles in the walls. That's not good. It's typically not a good sign. Got Vec topside. Oh wow, it would target only my mechs. That seems fair. Oh, fucking it webbed me too. Okay. It's got five damage. Uh, I can't move that yet. Finish this one off now. Um, I need to be able to move that, so I'm gonna have to just punch over here. Um, is there a good spot? Not really, but oh, I forgot about this thing. Fuck! How do I take care of this thing? Oh wait, can I push the? Oh yes. Big brain plays. Here we go. Yes. Yes! Oh, that feels so good. I think that last bug probably creates rocks. Oh, okay. Well, that seems fair. What is this thing? Crab? I have to fight some kind of giant enemy crab? Uh, launch artillery attack on two tiles. Oh, I don't like that. Um, okay. Oh, that makes sense why they're targeting my guys now. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna attack there. I should have moved there. I'm stupid. Okay. Um, I can't get in a really good position here. Uh, there's no good place. You'll die if you go in lava. Thanks. Thank you for that vital information for my everyday life. Alright. Oh wait, I can do this. Sort of. I forgot I can move with the dash. Let me do that then. Mm, sort of. Okay. That made me real scared for a second. <laughs> oh, it dropped the rocks back down. That's nice of it. Whoa, here we go. Okay, last turn. How could it be last turn when more enemies are gonna spawn? Uh, doesn't seem uh, doesn't seem to match up. Doesn't it seems like there's some flaws here. Okay. Um, there's no real good position I can get in here. Um, uh, I guess just here. I'm gonna try and block the next spawns, but I can't really do that. I could have used that, but it wouldn't have done enough damage. There's no upgrading damage on that. Oh, so yeah, more tentacles appear in the uh, walls as this goes. Oh, is this like... Is this like an actual... Like, time travel? So when you lose, you, uh, you time travel out of your mechs. Um, to like safety. So it kind of looks like that's what they just did. Well, you can only save one pilot if you lose. So you can keep a pilot between campaigns if you lose, but only one. I'm glad I didn't have to make that decision because those were all pretty cool. Hell yeah! Vec has been destroyed, saving this timeline for Ultimate Doom. Humanity can now begin to recover from the destruction wrought by the Vec. Island civilian lives protected, total Earth lives saved, approximately 4.6 million. Um,. I think there's, um, I think there's an in-game uh, achievement for getting 10,000 total saved, so that sucks that I just missed that. By having one hit. Um, hey, yeah. Thanks to Subset Games. Keep making games, guys. You guys are awesome. FTL was great. Into the Breach was great. I think I like Into the Breach better than FTL, and I like FTL a lot. Um, that was uneasy, though. So, I mean, you guys gotta tell me, if you made it this far, do I have to play on hard? Or do I have to play on normal? There are different mechs you can use, too. I'm gonna unlock some of them after this. I just wanna make sure you see the, uh, the credits, because I don't imagine there's a lot of them. It's a very small studio. Alright. Unless, if they start getting into Patreon, or, sorry, if they start getting into Patreon or Kickstarter followers, I'm gonna have to skip, just because I don't have time for that. 
Fellow indie developers. Hey, yeah. No, thank you, Subset Games. I appreciate it. This is fun. Just over two hours. That's not what I expected when I started recording this. Okay. It's like one pilot to continue the fight. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Uh, I don't want to have to choose. Okay, not these three. Gain plus three movement on the first turn and mech reactor. Uh, mech reactor, move. Mech can move through enemy units. Mech gains armored. Oh, they're all useful. Oh, God. Um, mech reactor, mech HP. Mech reactor, mech move. Mech reactor, mech HP. They're all like just good enough where I want to keep them all, but not good enough where I really need to. Um. <sighs> fuck. I think armored, right? Move through units was useful, but I think armored is the way to go. He's the one I started with too. I do have these other pilots unlocked now. It's just um, they started like level one. Okay, so oh, you, so it's different every time. Okay, so I earned a victory medal for four, but I didn't earn it for the other two. I have 11 coins now, which means I can unlock the other squads. I can customize a squad now? Hell yes. That's what I want to see. Okay. So I unlocked Blitzkrieg, and these are cool, but I really don't like the secondary mechs. This one just does a grappling hook, which is fun, but it has does no damage. This one throws rocks, which is better than this one in my opinion, but also worse in some ways. This one chains electrical attacks, but it also does a lot of friendly fire, so... Let's see. Hazardous max particular damage, but rely on nanobots feeding off dead vec to stay alive. That's dope. Uh, Frozen Titans. I am a cryo launcher. Steel Judica. Specialized in positional manipulation. Turn the vec against each other. Uh, beam technology and pinnacle shield create a powerful combination. Uh, resting, rusting hulks. Um, let's unlock Steel Judicas. Let's unlock the flame behemoths too. Uh, I want to know what the beam technology is. That sounds dope. We'll do that. Oh, look at it's a fucking that's that's Metal Gear Rex. What? <laughs> All right. Uh, and then, oh my god, yes. So let's see. So you can't see what they do right away. You could just do three. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's such an awesome thing to have. Okay. I'm absolutely in love with this now. Judo mech. Laser mech. So they're ranged, brute, and science. Defense mech, gravity mech. I do like the combat mech a lot. I can try and unlock... Let's unlock the rust one too. Rusting hulks. Okay. This is dope. <laughs> this is actually awesome. That's all I wanted from this was the ability to make your custom squads and they give it to you. All right, you gotta do this, this, and then what are these? Pulse mech. I don't know what like the highest damage output ones are. Look at that. And you can change your colors now, so you can make them different colors. If you didn't notice, I had this one as uh, the uh, Blitzkrieg colors. That's fucking cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Beat the game with three of the same mech. That's awesome. Beat the game with three different mechs from the same class. Um, oh, so that would be what this is. Beat the game with three flying mechs. Oh, this is so fucking cool. Ah, oh, I love this game. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. And again, if you want to see more, let me know. If you made it to the end, let me know. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Hey, time for Patreon shoutouts. Um, so for the month of June, I had to think about it for a second. Thank you to Ertrev, Sean, and Norm for the one dollar, and in J brand new this month, Annie for the dollar. Thank you, uh, Carlos with two, Azor with three, Maz and Happy with five, and then Sean Thomason, Connor Silverwald, and Sir Aniac with ten, and Michael Smith and John Barnett with fifteen. Thank you, love all of you. Let's continue. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird of me.
I understand that might look weird because I'm not using the handle. All right, uh, and YouTube is broken on Firefox. So I have to open this in Chrome. So give me a second. So everything's weird. And uh, for the YouTube stuff, thank you to Moz for the four months, Eniac for the four months, Louisa and John for the three months, and Michael Smith for three months, uh, Raptax and Electric Narwhal for the two months, and Mayo with the two goddamn days just made it in this video. So thank you guys. And uh, as always, um, if you guys join either of those, it doesn't matter which one, uh, you get access to a special, special tab on the Discord where you can see all of the uh, videos that I upload early, uh, that I, you know, because I upload them and then release them incrementally, so you can see them a little early. Uh, also, it helps me out. So, yeah. Also, a reminder that the uh, seven year, I can't remember how old this channel was, seven year anniversary is going to be on July 20th. That is a Saturday. Um, it's going to be a 24 hour stream, so it's going to start at noon on Saturday. Going to go until noon on Sunday, the 21st. Um, it's not when the actual anniversary is, but it's a weekend, so I figured people would be more available. Uh, so yeah, there's a separate video about that. You can go find that one. Uh, it should be uploaded on July 1st, which is the day I'm recording it. I actually haven't recorded it yet, but I'm assuming I will. Um, so yeah, see you guys there, and uh, enjoy the... Well, not enjoy the video, it's over. But enjoy the next video, I assume, because you're just going to watch every fucking video on my channel. Right? Right? Right?